Hey guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is raining today, so I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Might go mining or something. Um, no, we won't. Fishing, maybe? Oh, that's nice. 500 gold. Yeah, the flower festival. I haven't... Oh, looky here. Our first... Um, stuff. Okay, we'll put it in here. See, nothing is quite ready to harvest yet. Okay. Um. So, yeah. Fishing, maybe? Or we could go around foraging stuff and gifting people, like actually gifting people. Some stuff. Because we haven't really, uh... Haven't really been doing that. I mean, fishing is all well and good, yeah? Especially since we got that increase in sale price. But people give you recipes and stuff if you raise their uh, friendship level, so that's always good. And some of these recipes that you can get are people's most loved gifts, so... Or most liked gifts received, if that makes any sense. And I often don't go through the trash cans either. I don't know what you like, Shane. I don't have anything for you, buddy. Um, everybody's probably in their houses, though, so... Let's see, let's go give George a leak. I think one of the best recipes he can give you is a spicy eel recipe or something like that. Might as well give something to Evelyn as well. Because she gives you the recipe for cookies. And cookies are good. Gotta love cookies. Um, what am I doing down here? Oh, sometimes there's forageables around here, but... Also, sometimes some good stuff in the trash can, but it doesn't appear like there's going to be this time. Nope, okay. Well, I probably should have planned this day out better, but I never do, so... <laughs> I never plan. It's probably not a good thing that I don't do th that ever... Yeah. If that sentence was even something. <laughs> ah. Because there's some good forgeables on the uh, other side in, uh, on the beach. Coral and stuff like that. So we need... Uh, most of our wood, but it's going to be a while before we even buy a coop, so that's okay. Probably mid to late summers when we're going to get the coop, and maybe even the barn. No telling. But I definitely want to save as much money as I can. For when summer arrives. So I can buy all those amazing, amazing crops that sell for a lot of money. Like, um, melons. Melons sell for a shit ton. That was a weird cutscene. Why was it still raining? No idea. Look, we got some coral. Nice. And I don't think we need this for any community center uh, bundle at all, so we can just sell it. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Oh, yeah, he sells you something. Uh, for, like, if you want to get married or whatever. I think it's, like, 
the mermaid pendant or something like that. And if you got a girlfriend, you give it to her and you'll get married pretty soon after. Now, I don't think anybody likes coral or anything like that, so... I'm not gonna give it to no one. So yeah, just a run around forge day, I guess. I'll probably do some fishing too, because I, I definitely need as much money as I can get. Sell, sell, sell. And then put everything else up in the box. Plover. Might be alright to cut some trees down as well. Because that also increases foraging. Which we just reached level 4, so... I think level 5 is when you can get the, uh... Lightning Rod. And it takes bat wings and refined quartz to make a lightning rod, so... Good thing we got all those bat wings when we did, right? I think it was like what 20 something I mean we donated 10 but 10 is better than zero right I would like to think so all right maybe a another tree or two And then we will spend the rest of the day fishing. Oh wait, is the thing gone? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> nice, alright, well let's uh, plant more uh, oak trees. Because we really, really do want a whole lot of, uh, things. You're in the wrong box. Um, what do I want to do now? Let's see. Let's go ahead and eat this. I mean, I could have sold it, but I don't care. It's raining, there could be a whole bunch of catfish, so I don't want to fish in the town. Maybe I'll just go fish at the beach. It's been a while since we fished there. What are you doing outside in the rain, Vincent? Oh, there's Emily. See, I could give her a flower. Does she like flowers, though? Oh, I guess so. It's probably a neutral gift, which is okay. It still raises their friendship level, so... Hey, what's up there, Sam? Sam likes cola. Or Joja Mart, or Joja Cola. That's it. Oh, hey. I don't think I've donated an oyster yet. So I guess we could do that. What kind of fish will we fish up today? Maybe some good ones. I don't think we're going to find any fish that we haven't caught before, though. So There's a herring, but that's not needed for the community mm -hmm. bundles. Definitely gonna just sell that one. Is this another herring or what? Could be something different. And it is indeed a sardine. Don't ask me, I I, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, 
I really dislike fishing in real life. I know I've said this before, but yeah, it's super boring. To me, anyways. I know that hundreds of people absolutely love fishing. It's just not my thing, yo. I just don't like it. But yeah, I guess if I'm going to fish, I would rather do it virtually. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a bite. The game tricked me. There used to be this game I used to play all the time. Uh, whoa, what is this? It was for PlayStation 1 way back in the day. I can't remember what it was, what it was called, but it was a fishing game. Oh, it's an eel. Hey, I gotta donate that. But uh, yeah. I can't remember what it was, but I used to play it all the time. My dad used to play it too, but um, I like beat every one of his records, so <laughs> from all the fish he caught. It was crazy. See, how old was I when the PS1 came out? How old was I? Eight, maybe? Maybe younger. I don't know. Let's see. The When did the uh, NES, uh, SNES come out? It was like 91, 92? That's the case. Uh, I was like three years old, four years old when that came out. I did play a lot of Super Nintendo as well. I mean, we didn't have a a large selection of games, but, you know, Donkey Kong Country, Contra 3. Whenever I was a kid, me and my uncle destroyed that game, which is funny because it's considered one of the hardest games in the world now, I think. Oh, I have donated an oyster. Um, yeah, Zelda, Mario, all those games. Of course, back then I wasn't as fond of Zelda as I am now, because I was too young to understand, really, the whole concept of, that, of Zelda. Mario is super easy to understand. Plumber guy goes out to rescue a princess, and that's, that's it. <laughs> Nothing much to Mario. But yeah, I guess whenever I really fell in love with the Zelda series was Ocarina of Time. It's when my cognitive, cognitive, whatever that word is, self became, I guess. Absolutely loved it. I think Ocarina of Time was also the first Zelda game I ever beat. I mean, yeah, I played A Link to the Past in Zelda 1. But I, I don't know, for some reason I guess I didn't understand how to get through it. I don't know. Pretty sure the first game I ever beat... Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's a meteor in the game. The first game I ever beat was uh, Super Mario World. Was it? Was it that or was it the Aladdin game? I can't remember. It could have also been Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know. <laughs> it's, that was so long ago. I was like three years old. Okay, so today is the flower festival. So what can we do? Ah! We can sell all this stuff. That's what we can do. Yeah, and we're pretty much not going to be planting anything else though because... Yeah. See, the cow will be ready probably tomorrow. <laughs> Let's 
So, yeah, I can't really do anything uh, plant-wise. Would I mean I could plant? No, I couldn't even. I couldn't even plant pear snips if I wanted to, because they'll be done. I don't think they'd be done the twenty-eighth. I think it would be like the twenty-ninth. It's like four days after you plant it, so it wouldn't count until the twenty-fifth, and then four days after the twenty-fifth. So yeah, they would not make it. They would just die. So honestly, if I wanted to, I could just upgrade my watering can. And not even worry about it, but I think you can get two harvests of these strawberries. Not 100% sure. I think you can, but I've been wrong before. Yeah, there there isn't much to do at the uh, flower festival. I mean, I guess I could talk to everybody, but I'm not going to be able to get anybody to dance with me, unfortunately. So let's start clearing out some of these rocks. We haven't really cleared out many rocks on the farm. There is a lot of them. But who knows, maybe I'll gain a level in mining. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, so the flower dance has started, but I think we got till 2 p.m. to get there, so... We can get a few more of these rocks broke. See, I'm pretty sure I need an iron pickaxe. Or maybe it's a gold... No, I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, there's the meteor. Nice. Yeah, I can't break that. Gotta have a gold pickaxe. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure these uh, these rocks only require a uh, iron pickaxe to break. Alright, alright, I guess we'll go. Gotta love that banjo, right? I suppose. I mean, I don't really care for banjos, but yeah. Yeah, the shop has... Absolute shit. It doesn't have anything good. What's up there, Emily? <laughs> I don't know, Clint. You've just got to ask, man. If you don't ask, you'll never know, I suppose. Hmm. Frog season? Who eats frogs? Uh, I don't know. A lot of people do, I'm sure. Uh, not me. I, I do not care. I would not even dare to try to eat frogs. Or frog legs. People don't just eat straight frogs, I don't guess. It's just nasty to me. I wouldn't be able to, to eat it at all. Don't ask me where that rant came from. I have no idea. No one really... I'm sure no one really cares about my opinion about frog legs. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Go ahead and uh, start the dance. I'm not going to be able to participate, but that's okay. I mean, I, I, I guess you can call this dancing. No idea. <laughs> Yeah, they look like they're five years old dancing.
But yeah, that was the uh, that was the flower festival. Very, very, very underwhelming festival. Not cool at all, in my opinion. Yep, well, I think I am uh, probably going to end the episode here, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.